friends. This is Amy from Leap of Faith Crafting, and today um, I'm just going to show you a way um, to make a shadow of a monogram um, or text in Cricut Design Space. So I'm making a mug, and I want a shadow of this so it stands out more. Um, so this is what I do on my computer. I don't. There's probably different ways to do it. But what I do is I brought this in, um, I designed this in Monogram It on an app, and then I emailed it to myself and brought it into Cricut Design Space with Upload. So from here, um, I'm just going to I'm going to make sure that this is on print. So over here, you click on the scissors, and I'm going to click it on print. Okay, and then I'm going to go to make it up here on the right side and this comes up. And we're not gonna print it, but this is how I'm gonna save it. So I'm gonna hit continue, send to my printer, and on mine, my option, these are my options that come up, and I'm gonna hit Microsoft Print to PDF. Um, so I just wanna save it. So you might have a different way to save it on yours. So mine automatically goes to a PDF, so I have to convert it, um, which is an extra step, but I'm gonna hit that. I'm gonna make sure that the bleed is on. That's what's going to make it thicker. And I'm going to hit print. So what this is going to do is it's going to save it as a PDF. And. Okay, so then this is going to come up desktop and I'm going to type in initials and save it to my desktop. And you can see it saves as a PDF. And then I'm going to cancel this because I don't want to print it. Okay, so then I'm going to go and just type in PDF. And you can see I use it. So it comes up PDF to PNG. There's lots of free online converters. Um, this is just one I use. So I'm going to come into this. And on here it just says upload files. So I'm going to type in the PDF initials PDF. And you will see this will upload and convert it. And then I'm just going to download this. And you will see it comes up here as a zip file. And then I'm going to open this and extract it to, oops, we'll just put it in the desktop. When I hit extract. Okay, so then um, I'm going to go back into Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to, on the left side, I'm going to click Upload. And I'm going to go to Upload an Image and Browse, and then I'm going to type in the initials 1, the PNG is what I downloaded. So I'm going to click that here, and you will see it brings it up. I'm just going to hit complex and continue. I'm going to make this a little smaller so I can crop it. So up here I'm going to crop and I'm just going to crop out the black lines around it. And then you will have the white spaces that you need to get rid of. So come over here to the select and erase. And this is where you just click it and all the background will disappear. So I click in all the spaces. To get all the white gone. And to get these little spaces up here, you can come up to the zoom. And click on that one. Okay, so then when I hit continue, this will come up and I'm going to save it as a cut image and then hit save. And then it uploaded here. So I'm going to click on that to insert and it will insert it here and I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to put this one back to cut so I know it's on cut. And then this one, I'm just going to make it a different color so you can see it. Make it go down, and I'm going to put a range move to back just so I can see it. I'm going to kind of line it up a little bit. And 
and then you can kind of move these around to where they look about the same get how you want it and you can always hit select all and align center both and there you go so there's the outline um, to what I want so when I cut it out I'm going to cut it on two different color vinyls and then add that to my mug so thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions